Real quick, before you guys watch today's video, I have a very special, important PSA. I am extremely stoked, I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but I am so pumped and relieved to finally say that yes, the rig rods are available for purchase on Favorite Fishing's website. Pick them up while they're still there. There's a very limited quantity. It would mean the world if you guys picked up one of these rods. They're awesome sticks. I've used them for a few months now and they perform amazingly. You can check that link in the description below and pick one up for yourself. Thanks in advance for scooping one and enjoy the rest of today's video. Finally do a little bit of fishing. Today, I am in Illinois. Unfortunately, the current air temp is, get ready, get ready. Oh, 27 degrees Fahrenheit. That is just the spiciest thing I've seen all day. You know, the majority of smart people this time of year up north have pretty much just given up, are now waiting for the ice fishing season. But for me, I just can't let go of the open water season, especially after living in Texas for a few months. I am addicted to that open water action. So I'm gonna try to find some local ponds. I used to fish as a uh, as a little dude. I say little, but I was like a sophomore in high school. But hopefully today we break them open, we crack them open, catch a few on some rip baits, maybe some jigs. I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. Stay tuned. Oh wait. Wait, one more thing. If you guys have not seen, actually I'm gonna unbuckle my seatbelt right now. If you guys have not seen the new Guggen Squad Christmas sweater, check it out. It is very sick. Sneak a peek in the link in the description and you can snag one for yourself. Guggen promotion over. Now it's time to crank on some icicle bass. Okie dokie. There's no better feeling than driving to your, uh, your little honey hole and noticing that about 90% of the spots you drove by are completely frozen over. That has me a little worried right off the bat, but I'm gonna keep it over mind and I'm gonna pray to God that this spot down yonder is uh, is not completely frozen over because I don't have any ice fishing equipment. That was more or less a joke. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get started off by telling you guys what I'm gonna throw. Um, this is a small little pond. It's, it's nothing special, it's nothing unique. It's kind of clear, somewhat deep, but the large mouth in here, they get pretty big. Uh, even for Illinois standards. So I'm gonna pick up three rods with me, one of which is a seven foot rigged Phantom by Favorite. And then uh, with that, I'm gonna throw a little Texas rig, believe it or not. I've got an idea as to what I'm gonna do with this. Up next, we got the Winter Spring Special, which is a suspending jerkbait. And uh, that's on a 6'6", well, this is a small rod, a 6'6", Favorite rush. And last but not least, you can't do any winter fishing without a little drop shot. So I've got this on the two piece rigged 7.3 spinning with the favorite 2500 Phantom Reel. And with that today, I'm gonna check out what's in this month's MTB Pro Box and see if I can use some of the stuff that's in here to catch some fish. The one bait that really has me interested is this dealio right here, the little crawl. And I think what I wanna do is Texas rig this guy. Wow, my hands are drier than the freaking Gobi Desert right now. I need some, where's that Jergens at? Oh, this will do. A little Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion. What scent we working with here? What's the, fra oh, it's fragrance free. Mm, not a fan of that. You know, I like my Shia butter. Oh, not much left. Oh, that feels so good. I don't want to hear it in the comment section. I swear to God, if you guys get on me for putting lotion in my hands, you're the one sleeping. I don't care, man. I, I'm, I'm comfortable having soft hands as long as they're not freaking ashy as hell. All right, now we can fish. Let's see if they're chomping. This is the spot I usually catch them on. Some good grass out there. That's a good sign. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's some good grass. That's the kind of grass I'm looking for. I need that grass in my life. Is that a fish? That's a fish, I'm on. Nice, the jerkbait strikes. <laughs> Talk about a lazy bite, man. Oh, <laughs> 27 degrees in Northern Illinois right now. Half this pond is frozen and they are still eating the jerk. Look how pretty this fish is, man. Talk about a gorgeous fish. He is so pretty. Whenever these fish are eating the jerkbait that good, you're in luck. Thank you, little winter bass. I appreciate it. Okay, 
Have a Merry Christmas. Oh, or Happy Holiday. Okay. Yeah. You need to work on that whole swimming thing. That was pretty brutal. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. One down, many more to go. There we go. I'm on. That's a fish. This one feels a little bit better. They are really lethargic. They are not fighting at all. It's like reeling in a wet sock. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit better. Probably the same size, actually. Good stuff, though. Man, they're eating it. That's a really good sign that they're eating it that well. Shaling! I think maybe he wanted that. Yeah. Okay, Buster. Back you go. Oh, um. There you, there you go. He's just a little cold. I don't blame him. I'm, I'm really feeling the same way right now. I'm gonna give you guys a quick glimpse of this jerk bait that I'm using right now. This is actually a bait that um, I discovered through Mystery Tackle Box. It's a little Ima flit jerk bait. I think it's a 98 or 95 size. Oh no, it's a hundred size. Basically, this is a suspending jerk bait. It's got two treble hooks. And what suspending means is when you're working that bait, when you're ripping it, it like literally stays still in the water column. It doesn't sink and it doesn't float. It's a crazy deadly bait for this time of year. This is a perfect example of a bait that I actually discovered through Mystery Tackle Box. Not necessarily in this box, but in past ones. And if you guys are interested in checking out Mystery Tackle Box, again, they're a huge sponsor of this channel. And I'll leave the link in the description below as to where you can subscribe uh, to your MTV box. It's a great gift for someone else or yourself. It's like the best way to learn about new baits and kind of step outside your comfort zone. This is a bait that I probably would have never picked up just because it doesn't look like a jerk bait I'm, I'm used to throwing, but it's been one of my favorites. This one and the Mega Bass jerk bait are the two jerk baits that I love so much. The only difference is the Mega Bass jerk bait cost me my freaking left leg, while this one's I think like 10 bucks. Let's see if I need another. Oh my gosh, I'm on. Next cast after. Next cast after we're hooked up. Come on, be a biggin. Be a biggin. Woo! They're pretty cookie cutter in here. There is some big ones, like I said earlier in today's video, but there are a lot, and I mean a lot, that are about that one pound, just barely peaking two pound range. They're chomping. That's three, man. I was a little nervous coming out here. This has been like the first really, really cold snap. It's been like 50, 45 for the past few days, and it just dropped today. I don't think it's hurting the fishing, which is a real peace of mind. This is definitely the biggest one of the day. Why do they keep swimming towards the shore? That is so weird. There you go. They're so like, their equilibrium is off or something like that. It's the third time. Well, I can't feel my hands, but at the very least, the fish are chomping and I'm cool about that. And I think there's a hole out there with some grass and that's exactly where they're at. I'm gonna keep casting. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, wow. Look at that. Crappie, <laughs> nice black crappie. Mini slab. You hit it just like a freaking nice bass. Okie dokie, buddy. Well, thanks. I don't really know what to, to say other than that was kind of weird. Oh, there's fish right there. There was little, oh my God, I'm on. That's a good one. I just saw a fish move off the bank. Are you kidding me? I hope this is a decent one. Uh, it's okay. Oh, nice. Okay, all right, all right. You can calm down right now if you, okay, all righty. God, it's bad enough I can't feel my freaking fingers, but when you're thrashing around, it doesn't make things any easier. Buster Brown, all oh, right, oh, okay, that's just enough. Ah, stop that. I've already gotten a jerk bait to the hand. I don't need it twice. What the heck, look, he's swimming towards the shore. These fish are all goofed up right now. Oh. That's a nice one. That's a big one. I think this is a big one. Oh boy. This might be the big one I was after. This one does not feel small. It's taking drag. Oh my gosh. It's a freaking nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh my God, holy smokes, this is a good fish. Oh, look at that, he's peeling drag. He's peeling drag. That is a chunk. That is an absolute chunk. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see this fish. I can't jinx it though, I gotta get him up. I just knew if I sifted through some of these smaller ones, we'd get some bigger fish. This is a good in. Look at this, this fight is vicious. This guy won't give up. Get over here. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Boom, souse. Man, what was I saying? Just gotta sift through the little ones to get the ones we really want today. That's a chunk, baby. That is a chunk. Punk. Four pounds all freaking day. Good fish, man. 
Yes. Wow, doesn't get better than that. Barely, barely, barely had the confidence to even come out here today, but I thought, hey, this is my last day in Illinois before I have to go back to Dallas, and I'm just gonna give it my all. I'm so glad I came out here. Hmm. Nothing. Well, I don't think that they want the crawl. I'm gonna try another moving bait in my in my winter bait arsenal um, and see if they want that. And to be honest, if they don't want that, I'm you, you, I'm gonna go back to the jerk bait. I have no mercy. Oh yeah, that's a nice tree limb there. Well, I might lose my jerk bait. I might actually lose my jerk bait, guys. Wow. Oh, they're good. Okay, did not mean to lose that. I really didn't. Oh, I'm on. I got one. No way. That was so quick. So I'm having some difficulties here, not gonna lie, finding a bait other than the jerk bait that will catch these fish. Mainly because, well, I just lost my jerk bait, so <laughs> I don't have that, that bread and butter anymore. So I'm looking for some other alternatives, and I think I may have found something that will get these fish to bite. I just got finished throwing the craw. I did the drop shot a bit, caught like two little ones in the drop shot, and now I'm throwing something really unique. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second once I reel this fish in. Love this deal. All right, check this out. That's not a bad one, honestly. So look at this little bait that I'm throwing. This is such a cool bait. It's basically a blade bait. Oh God, oh God, the thing's almost got ugly. All right, I'm gonna put this guy back, then talk about it. <laughs> I almost got a blade bait to the freaking hand. This bait right here is like an OG lure. I don't know how long these things have been around for, but many, many years. It's essentially called a blade bait. A cross between a spoon and a lipless crankbait. And the profile is super slender, but it just drives these fish nuts. For some reason in cold water, they love this deal. That was on the 7.3 rig stick, the saw stick, and uh, <laughs> he chomped it. That was my second cast. Another one. Another one. This is craziness. I think they like this just as much as they do the freaking jerk bait. Oh, easy release. Bye bye. Oh man, I watched that fish eat right at my feet. Oh my gosh. I love this thing. It's so funny because I just got finished throwing the craw, the lipless crankbait, a drop shot, and they didn't want any of that. But as soon as I tie this thing on, they are on it. This is just insane. I don't even know what number this is. It's gotta be over 20 at this point. Um, this is a spot that usually in the summertime sucks. It's not very good, at least for me. But in the wintertime, these fish, they get super stacked up. They get very predictable. And for some reason, they get mega aggressive. And I think I hit it on the right day because there's times where I come out here and get literally zero bites. Not a bad fish. They're just stacked in this little tiny cut, this little tiny hole that connects to a larger lake. And they are on the munch. Peace out, brother. Oh, 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 I wonder if you guys saw like that bite. I mean, that was some serious ish. Just crashed it. Oh, Bubba. It's definitely bigger than the ones I've been catching. The bigger fish seem to be kind of in this little pool over here, this little area. Okay. Chill, 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 chill. Ah, ah, oh God, oh God. Oh, I got hooked for a second there. These fish like don't fight in the water, but as soon as they get out, they want to kill me. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't blame them. I just hooked them in the face. All right, man, another one. See you, bub. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. So many bass. So many freaking bass. Stop it. I'm not even talking anymore. I'm just enjoying this. Soaking all this in right now. Alright. Oh my god. My lips feel so dry. I had so much fun. For some reason catching fish in like 
tough conditions, whether it be like super cold, super rainy, super hot, it like gets me going. It feels like I've accomplished something. I'm pumped about today. Today was a good day of fishing and I'm glad I got out on my last day here in Illinois. I will say that blade bait took the cake, just absolutely wrecked them. That's a pretty sweet bait. It's a lure I don't throw often, or most people don't throw often, to be honest. I'll leave a link as to where you can purchase those baits in the description below, paired up with the Guggen Christmas sweater and where you can subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I, um, unfortunately, I have some bad news. Uh, these next few days are gonna be extremely hectic for me, and I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film, and this is something I don't really say often, but it's the truth. Um, once I get back in Texas, I'm there for like four or five days, and I'll be filming with the Googans, and then after that, I leave the country twice. Yeah, it's gonna be insane, but it's gonna be so much fun, and I, and I cannot wait to bring you guys along with the journey. I just don't know how much I'm gonna upload, being that the, uh, the well, I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna go, but the place I'm going 100% does not have free, speedy fast wi-fi uh where am i going with this anyway i'm done talking thank you guys so much for watching today's video and as always folks peeps at home keep on fishing never stop <laughs> <laughs>